Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a work and career reading for Cancer from the 26th of November to the 9th of December 2018. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, I've put my details in the description box, so please contact me. I've also put the decks that I'm using in the description box and links to Amazon and eBay if you want to buy these decks. And please don't forget to watch my... Uh, deck walkthrough series you'll find that very interesting so like share subscribe and leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you so i'm starting off with um the general um energy read and then i will do a general tarot read after that So um, you've got some unrealistic expectations going on over here. So you need to actually refocus and rethink about what, what you want and reset your goals. There's a lot of gossip and rumors going on around you. So be aware of that. Make sure that you're not giving people information uh, that could uh, potentially harm you. And there's a need for effective time management on your part. So in the past, you've got uh, a need to act with authority, power, and confidence. Maybe you've also been uh, moonlighting or doing a second job or doing some sort of temporary employment, uh, maybe to get you over a hurdle. Uh, going into the future, there might be some upsetting news coming in, so just uh, be aware of that, something that is not um, what you expected, and it might cause a little bit of distress. Uh, it looks like you are going for a management position, and that looks like that might be something coming in as well. So those are the energies for that week. So I have shuffled this deck. I'm just going to draw some cards. So the main energy is achievement. So there is something that you have been doing and it looks like you've been getting um, or you will be getting uh, a lot of uh, recognition. Uh, you know, you've achieved something. There's a lot of celebration going on around it. Uh, you know, uh, you seem to have put the, the opposition in your back pocket and it seems like, you know, there's a lot of um, fame uh, in a way coming to you and people are really uh, looking at your achievements and uh, you know, they are cheering you on. So there is a very positive energy of achievement coming over there. So whatever you've done, uh, maybe you've completed it and it's been very, very successful. So what's going on with you? You've got the balance card uh, um, and it's crossed by uh, the shadow card. So it seems like you've been really obsessed with work, spending all of your time with it and, uh, you know, spending a lot of time by yourself, really, doing a lot of work, working for a lot of people maybe that don't appreciate it. Maybe you've been encountering a lot of obstacles as well. And, you know, you're feeling a bit down and depressed because, you know, you're tired out um, and feeling a bit negative about the situation. And you realize that you're overworked because this is the card, uh, the shadow card being ruled by Saturn uh, or Capricorn is... Um, showing that you know you have been focused so much on this work uh, that it has uh, taken uh, you know it's like an obsession for you right now and you're trying to find this balance back in your life again you've got the balance card of you're trying to juggle your family life with your work life over here and still being under a lot of pressure and strain uh, and you want your freedom uh, but you know you, the the burden is quite heavy over here so you're carrying quite a heavy load over there and working very very hard at this particular job so in the past year, there's been a lot of learning that has gone, gone on. Maybe you've been taking courses or doing something to uh, improve your skill set. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, some sort of professional course that you've been doing uh, in order to, um, uh, to get through any kind of obstacles that you have been facing or to achieve, um, you know, your goals. So uh, being very, very focused on that work as well. So in the last three months, you've got the luck or the a wheel of fortune card and so things have been starting to change you started to, to see some progress this is a card ruled by uh, jupiter so there's been expansion there has been some progress in your life things are now starting to get a little better you're coming out of that
that phase of luck into a phase of more abundance. Uh, you've been waiting for these things to happen with these cycles of the moon and they have been coming rather slowly, but they have been coming. So things are working. You might be doing some international traveling with this uh, card as well. But things going on behind the, back, uh, behind the scenes and you can see this woman's wearing medals. So you are getting that achievement, that success and that recognition that you have been working towards, even though it's coming a little slowly. So in your mind, you've got the three of action. Maybe you've been, uh, you know, uh, you've decided which path you want to follow and abundance has been coming in for you. You've set your goals and you're going for it. You're working pretty hard with the sun card over here and maybe collaborating with a lot of people, but you are very firmly based and you know exactly where you're going to right now. You have a, a clear goal in your mind. So going into the future, you've got the passage card, which means that you might be um, on a big change coming in for you, almost like a phoenix rising from the ash over here. So a big transformation coming over here where you're going to be leaving this uh, place of solitude. Maybe you've been working uh, alone and working very hard and feeling very down and you will be moving um, in into a new doorway so new opportunities coming for you uh, there's uh, some sort of time um, constraint on it or time um, limitation on it so maybe you worry time is passing you by and you're not achieving your goals but this card shows that there will be a transition there will be a big change that comes in that moves you out of this feeling you've got the keys in your hands which means that whatever you've learned um, is going to be the thing that opens the door for you and it seems like the the path is completely open and there's lots of options lots of options and lots of other doorways for you to go through so a big change coming in for you a big shift of energy in from the dark into the light so it doesn't it's it's a very positive change that will coming will be coming in for you things will start to blossom so at the moment you're a bit um confused and you know feeling a bit restricted here uh you know feeling like you're not seeing the bigger picture you don't know, really know where to go you you really don't know what to do at this particular moment um you know there are ways out but you've got to think of alternative solutions to your problem to get you out of that and you seem to be you know uh, alone doing it in the dark by yourself uh, but there are other options available to you and you need to consider these options uh, in order for you to leave the situation where you're feeling so restricted so going on around you, you've got the judgment card or the examination card which means there's a big shift coming in for you there is definitely a life-changing shift over here uh, you need to focus you need to be very particular and meticulous about what you do and how you do it maybe you're doing something in the scientific fields as well well but this card is a turning point card so that means that things are about to change for you and your pathway is about to open you need to take all the lessons you've learned from the past apply it to whatever you're doing now and uh, gain that experience uh, really it's uh, everything you learned now you're going to be um, applying it to uh, your everyday work situation or in whatever project you're doing right now so whatever you've learned is going to be applied um, this card also talks about um, reinventing yourself so you're coming out of the old um, job description that you had and you're moving to something new so some big transformation also so there are two cards of transformation almost next to each other here and so there are big changes that are coming in for you soon and what you're worried about, you're worried about uh, productivity here. You can see doing intervention. You want to bring something new in, um, something better than the old. So you want to bring in new technology or new ideas in, and you're worried that maybe people will not be happy about it. You can see this man's not pretty happy that this uh, chap is working with a machine. He wants him to work with a, with a chisel and a hammer. So it seems like whatever new um, ideas you have, you want to implement it, but you're worried that people will not be happy with it. So going into the future, you've got feeling aptitude, feeling instinct, and exhaustion. So whatever you're doing, you have an aptitude, you have an ability, you have a talent for it. It's something that, you know, it can't be given. It's a talent, uh, and you're enjoying doing it as well. So something that you're doing, it's, it's very beautiful, something that people enjoy. Uh, feeling instinct, showing that, you know, you are... Um, trying to balance yourself over here, maybe between your job and your family life, uh, but whatever new thing you're doing, you are feeling your way through it. it. Maybe it hasn't been done before and you're the first to do it. Uh, so you don't have inside information. You actually are going by your instincts over here. People aren't very, very helpful around you. Uh, they don't seem to realize the, you know, um, importance of what you're doing and maybe you don't have all the fo facts revealed to you uh, but you are going the right way and you're doing it very cautiously and um, you know trying to keep things uh, above um, you know within your um, 
experienced and it's within your capabilities rather. Um, so you are trying to get things done and you are moving very, very slowly and very cautiously trying to maintain this balance. And the last one is the 10 exhaustion. So it's an end of a cycle of overwork. So you are coming to that place where, uh, you know, you were very, very much chained to your work, chained to your job. You can see a lot of paperwork being done over here um, and a lot of time uh, limits over there. So working to a lot of deadlines. Um, but that uh, cycle is now coming to an end because it is the 10. And usually with the 10, freedom comes in. You've got the sign of Sagittarius over here. So it's showing that you will expand beyond this stuck to the office desk and you will move um, above and beyond that, and uh, the cycle of overwork will come to an end. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the fairy tarot. So you've got the awakening card over here, which says, change the way you are looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness, a temporary pause in action. So maybe you do need to just take some time to reflect on what you've been doing and rethink about, rethink your plans and rethink how you're doing it uh, in order for you to move forward. So just a time for reflection and a time to just think. Maybe things seem like they're not moving, but it's just temporary that they, they seem to be at a standstill right now. And the second card is the Prince of Winter. Seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. The need to act quickly and decisively. Sudden or unexpected changes. So it looks like something is coming in for you that's going to bring in a, a lot of uh, change. And it's going to be very quick and very sudden. Uh, maybe something that... Um, uh, makes you feel a bit uncomfortable so you know you didn't expect it uh, but you will be able to deal with it but you must act very quickly and be very decisive in what you do and then you've got the renewal card over here review the past and the present so that you can plan a bright new future understanding your life purpose and releasing judgments of yourself and others so this is another judgment card um, as the same as examination so in, uh, it looks like there is a life-changing situation coming for you and that will lead you to the path that you meant to be on it might be a bit uncomfortable but it is something that will um, take you in the path and the direction that you need to go and uh, you need to actually review all the things that you've learned in the past and apply it to your present so whatever experience you have you need to implement it in order for you to um, move forward and it's very important that you bring in all your past experiences and use it so uh, you are going to be moving away into a new cycle there's a big change coming in for you uh, uh, and it's important that you um, you review the past and take those lessons that you learned, um, and it looks like you know um, you will be able to to get through uh, the situation because this new path is going to lead you into something better. It's going to get you out of all this overwork. So let's. Um, I just want to draw a last card here, which is a, a funny oracle card. Um, which says, um, true wealth lies not in how much or how little money you have, but in taking the correct actions with your money to account for yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So really, um, you do need to um, make sure that you're thinking about how you've sp you're spending your money today, and that will affect how your money is being spent tomorrow. And it's the actions that of today that create tomorrow's future. So um, it, it doesn't matter how much you have, it's how you're managing that money that is really, really important. So a uh, big change is coming in for you uh, and make sure that you are using all the experience that you've gained uh, in order for you to move forward. Um, and, uh, you know, um, there will be a lot of opportunities that will be coming and a lot of doors uh, you can see here that, uh, you know, you can, you'll have your pick on, on what uh, opportunity you have uh, to move you out of a situation of being stagnant. If you're feeling uh, very, very stuck right now, um, this change comes in that opens the doorways for you and allows you to move out of the stagnation. And of course, there is achievement in whatever you're doing right now. So whatever project you're up to now, uh, it looks like it's going to be very successful and you're going to get a lot of recognition. So I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.